today's video is going to be a makeup look inspired by this palette here from Pure Minerals and this is the Jupiter Ascending palette of course inspired by the film Jupiter Ascending which is coming out very very soon. If you haven't seen the trailer yet I will leave it just here so click right here on this video and you can see the trailer it will take you straight to that video. My fiance also watched that trailer with me and he said it looks amazing so he can't wait to go see it as well. So I jumped at the opportunity to do a makeup look inspired by this palette which was created for that film. The out packaging looks like this and when you take it off you get a palette, a lip gloss and a liquid eyeliner. I love this palette, I think it's so pigmented and definitely worth the price. I will leave all the information down below so you can go check it out. If you are in the UK, I believe this palette is available in Marks and Spencers, but if you're not then I will leave links down below to where you can purchase this palette. So I'm going to stop rambling now and get on with the makeup tutorial, but this is the inspired look that I've created with this palette and I just love it. I love smoky eyes like this and I just, I'm in love. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this tutorial and let's get started. So the first step I'm going to be doing is the base, so I'm starting with my primer and I'm using this one and this is just a one step correcting primer. I'm going to go ahead and apply a concealer to any redness or darkness on my face and just to brighten up my complexion. And then over top of the concealer to set it I'm taking the pressed mineral makeup powder. This is a 4 in 1 powder and it's also in the shade light. And then just using my fingers, I am going to blend out the concealer. And again, I am just swirling the powder onto the brush and I'm just patting this over my skin because this is a 4-in-1 powder. So I'm just basically stipple this in on to my skin and if you want you can also do circle motions to blend them out. I'm going to go ahead and apply an eye primer to my eyes on both sides and I'm also going to fill in my brows ahead of time. So I'm using this one here, this is just a brown dark matte eyeshadow which I'm going to use to fill in my brows. star of the show is going to be this palette here from Pure Minerals and this is the Jupiter Ascending palette which is inspired by the film Jupiter Ascending. This is what it looks like here, you've got the lip gloss, the eyeliner and the palette on top. So I'm just going to go through the palette first. That's the close up of the palette there, I really really love it, I think it just looks really elegant looking and really sleek as well, it's really nice and thin and compact. And then you've got six beautiful eyeshadow colours which are all limited edition inspired by the film Jupiter Ascending. So you've got six beautiful ones here and they've all got names as well. So you've got the shade Majesty, Destiny, Night Sky, Jupiter, Kane and Cosmos. The first colour from this palette I'm taking is Cosmos here which is a beautiful shimmery colour. I'm going to apply this colour right to my brow bone area to awaken that area and make it look more awake and fresh looking. I'm going to take that same colour Cosmos and pop this onto the inner corner of my eye. Again, to waken that area up. Then going in with the shade Majesty, which is this really nice matte taupe brown colour, I'm going to place this into the crease. So I'm just going to do window wiper motions and go backwards and forwards, just to apply this colour right through the crease and it adds a bit more depth and warmth to the look. The next colour I'm going in with is Jupiter, which is this really nice cranberry colour, and I'm going to pop this all over the lid. So taking the colour Jupiter, I am just going to pat this onto the lid, and I'm going to gently bring this up to the crease. So I'm just using a dab in motion look first because I don't want any fallout and this will just prevent that from happening. So I'm just patting this on 
In the film, uh, the actress Mila Kunis, she actually pulls off this colour in particular really, really well. And I'll leave a picture probably around here somewhere. Um, and she wears this eyeshadow really smoked out. It looks amazing on her. So I really wanted to use this one eyeshadow palette, this one eyeshadow from this palette for the main inspiration. Because that photo was just gorgeous of her. So I definitely wanted to use this one as the main focal point. And then going back to the palette, I am taking this colour here, which is called Cane. And I am taking a pencil brush for this one. And I'm going to concentrate this on the outer corner and slightly going up into the crease again. This will just deepen out the look a bit more. And add that extra depth again to the eyeshadows. with that shade Majesty and I'm going to just deepen out the crease a little bit more so I'm going back in with a blending brush and I'm just going again backwards and forwards a window wiper motion and maybe some circle motions as well just to add a bit more depth then I'm going back in with a pencil brush and I'm taking this color here which is called night sky and I'm going to place this underneath my bottom lash line again just to smoke out the look because I do like smoky looks and I think with this cranberry color it will look really really nice together Again, I am just placing this right underneath. I'm gonna go all the way in, so don't be shy with it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and use a black pencil eyeliner to use on my waterline, just smoke out this eye a bit more. Then I'm gonna use a winged liner to add more drama to the eyes, and I'm going to go in with this palette set and I'm going to use the eyeliner here. So with this eyeliner I'm going right to the inner corner. I'm going to create quite a thin line here and then go more thicker on the outer corner and a nice wing and nice flick on the outer corner. So if you want, if you find it quite hard to do liner, you start in the middle first just by making a little line and then connecting the dots. off the eyes even more I'm going to go in with the mascara this is from pure minerals and this is the big look extreme mascara with argan oil that's what the packaging looks like it's just pink and black and it's just a really nice wanded mascara like so so I'm just gonna apply this to my top and bottom lashes done I'm now going to move on to the rest of the face so I'm taking the pure minerals cream blush in the shade koi and I love the packaging of this really nice and sleek and this is just the color there really nice soft natural color so I'm just gonna apply this with my fingers and blend in so I'm just taking a small amount and dabbing this to the apples on my cheeks and apply just a touch of highlighter to my top of my cheekbones again just to round off the look all together and the last step to finish off this makeup look is your lips so I'm going to move on to this which I used before which is the cream blush in the shade Koi and I'm going to apply this a very small amount to my lips So you could leave it like that but I'm going to apply the lip gloss that comes in this little set as well at the bottom here this is in the shade galaxy it's a beautiful shimmery milky pink with some slight gold shimmer for it I think this looks absolutely amazing so I'm just going to apply this to my lips
in my collection I have eight MAC pigments, so I'm going to go through them all now. So the first MAC pigment is Naked Deep Dark, and this one I have swatched on my left hand dry and wet. 